Hi, welcome to Hard Reset Info Channel Day Viewers. In front of me, Deco Mini 4, XP Pen Deco Mini 4, and now I'm gonna show you how to use it. Uh, now you will see the complete guide uh, of how to use this XP Pen Deco Mini 4. So firstly, let's open it. So here we have the Deco Mini 4 device. Here we have the power cable and nibs and of course our pen uh, stylus. Here we have uh, two adapters, so if you want to connect it uh, to a device without normal USB-A, uh, so you can uh, connect it using this adapter and in this way this cable you need to connect to tablet and this to your MacBook, for example, because MacBook doesn't have this uh, this port, USB A port. Great and cool. As you can see now, I have now the nib on my XP Pen, so I need to install it. To install a uh, nib, you just need to open this case, and here you will see nibs. So just select one of, of the 10. I think here we have 10 nibs in the complete. So take one nib and install it. So to do it, just insert it into the stylus and press. Great, nib was successfully installed. It's very easy to install and as you can see it works. Uh, if you want to reinstall it, if you want to install new nib, you need to uh, use scissors or even uh, even just you, you can use just your teeth for example but I suggest to use just your hand so just use the piece of paper and in this way as you can see we can with easily uh, take off the nib and reinstall it okay then so here we have the tablet, here we have the, uh, our workspace. So as you can see, the tablet is big, but the workspace only in this square. So here is your uh, tablet is not working. Here is two, here two, here two. So only in this square. So I don't know how many inches we have here, but as you can see, the workspace is really small. So uh, here we have, uh, maybe not professional but uh, maybe in the middle uh, middle price uh, pressure sensitivity we have eight how eight thousand levels uh, resolution we have uh, even in uh, in mid range uh, report rate two uh, reading height two but uh, we have now the uh, big, um, big workspace. So we have a really small workspace. Uh, and of course, on our device, we have no batteries. So we have no batteries in the stills. We don't need to have it. It works without the batteries. And it's really great. So let's connect it to the computer and I'll show you how to use it. So first, we need to open the cable, connect it to the uh, does it connect the cable to the tablet and then wait a while and then connect the cable to your PC. When you will connect, you will see here the logo of uh, text input. So it means that uh, computer has detected my uh, graphic tablet. And as you can see here, I can move my mouse using the, uh, wait a while. Okay, I can move my mouse using the uh, stylus. okay. So it's really great, it's really good. Uh, but as you can see, uh, I can set up it. So uh, it works like, maybe not like, like a mouse, but um, I, 
I don't know, but like, so here is my screen. And for example, if I will touch here, so as you can see, uh, the mouse is, uh, is on my uh, top right corner. Here is left top corner. And as you can see, here is just my normal screen. Uh, for me, it's not handy to use. So I want to switch to mouse mode, for example. Uh, and how to do it, how to set it up. So for example, I will open, uh, I don't have Illustrator or Photoshop on my uh, work uh, computer, so I will show you <laughs> how, how, how to use it just in paint. And as you can see, I can write using this mouse, uh, using this tablet, uh, just in the just without any uh, applications, just without any drivers. Uh, but it because I have uh, enabled Windows Auto Update and Windows automatically installing the drivers for for, for new devices. If you uh, if ta your tablet is not working, so not afraid, uh, we will. Uh, I I'll show you how to how to how to install drivers and how to set it up. So to use normal use your device, you need to open the uh, browser and enter XP Pen Driver. Oh, XP XP Pen. Yeah, okay. Drivers download and find the first uh, first web page XP uh, slash download Find your category. For example, I have a Deco Series pen tablet. Find here your Deco uh, tablet. I have Deco Mini 4. Uh, then find here uh, your operation system. For example, I have Windows 10. And find the drivers, click download. And great. Now we need to disable the antivirus. To do it, open settings, update and security, Windows security, virus and trick protection. Scroll down, find your manage settings. Disable real-time protection and other types of protection too. We will enable it, but later. Uh, great, close the browser. And I have downloaded the drivers. So it's here. And now we need to open this archive. Of course, if you don't have archive app, you need to install any of the archive app, like 7-zip or WinRAR. I suggest you use WinRAR. So great. It's here. Now click on it twice, open it, click OK. I have read, install, wait a while, and then you will need to reboot your PC. As you can see, I have these drivers on my device. I just showing how to install it step by step. Uh, but I have these drivers on my device. Uh, and you need to click restart now, but I will click restart later. So restart your device. And now, wait for it. Now we, oh, okay. Now we have a new application here. As you can see, pen tablet. So open it. And here you will see your pen tablet application. And now we can set up our device. So, for example, we can set up screen. For example, set full screen, all customize screen area. We can customize our screen area. For example, I want to use my pen only on this area. And as you can see, now my top right corner is Okay, it's not working right now. Click to set area. Okay. And set area. For example, I want to use it only on this area. Okay. And now, as you can see, my right top corner. So I don't know why it's, it doesn't work. Click OK. Oh, okay. And as you can see now, I can't move to, to my screen right corner. I can uh, use it only in the era I have to choose uh, a while ago. And as you can see in this way, you can open the drawing application, for example, and draw only in this area. It's very simple to use and really int uh, intuitive. And if you need it, you can use it. 
but I, for example, want to use customize screen and I want to use it on my full screen. Okay, click OK. And great. Uh, you can use pen tablet. Here you can change uh, the range active area on your tablet. For example, you can set that only this area will be your workspace. You can you can draw your work, workspace using the marker on your device. Uh, if, for example, this area has used, as you can see, we can use uh, one error, but I don't know how much you need to draw on your device to use the error. But if you need, you can. You can, for example, uh, make that only this part will your workspace, but uh, and not of all workspace. Great. Uh, open pen settings. Uh, in the pen settings, we can change the uh, buttons. So, for example, uh, top button I can use like uh, I don't know, like a, like a precision mode, for example. Okay, and now when I will click uh, right. Uh, when I will click up button, I can uh, I, I am enabling the uh, precision mode, so it's fine detail mode. As you can see, uh, we can use it in this mode. We can uh, and create how to disable it. Okay, we need to click escape to disable it. Uh, so I will use pen razor. Great. Right click, we can customize too. Here we can uh, customize the pressure uh, pressure sensitivity. For example, now just press on, on the free area. Uh, just press. And as you can see, it's very easy to, to make the hard press. And I want to make it harder for example and now i need to have I, I need to use more power to to create hard press okay and in this way you can you can make uh, revert settings Great. Uh, and here you can use mouse mode. I, for example, like to use this mode because in this mode you can use your uh, stylus like a like mouse. Uh, so now when I'm clicking on the, uh, for example, left top corner of my era, of my working era, and as you can see it's not jumping from one place of my screen to other. I can use it on uh, just like a normal mouse. So I like to use mouse mode. You can enable window sync. You can change the sensitivity of the mouse, for example. Oh, it's not too great to use in this mode. Wait a while. Okay. Uh, you can change sensitivity and great. So now let's move to shortcut keys. So here we have six shortcuts and we can set up it. Uh, here we have key one, key, key two and from from one, from key, key one to key six. Uh, click show all to show all your keys and now you can set up all of your keys. For example, uh, here uh, we can customize, for example, B. Uh, if in your program, for example, uh, in program you use, uh, you need to use uh, B button. Yes, you can set it up to, for example, key one, it's B as brush, uh, or uh, key two, it's E, eraser. Uh, it's in, like, like in Photoshop, like in Illustrator. Uh, control plus plus, control plus minus and show driver panel. So I don't driver panel, okay? And okay, using this button, you can open driver panel. So uh, it's a great setup, but I don't need, for example, control plus plus. Uh, I need to use control Z, it's move back. And uh, control, uh, control shift Z, move, move forward. 
So in this way, I will set it up. I'll show you how to do it. So to do it, you just need to open keyboard setup and here just uh, using your keyboard, enter the uh, enter the shortcut. For example, I want to use Control Shift Z. So to do it, I clicking and holding Control Shift Z. Great. Now click OK and let's check it. For example, where in which application I can use it? So maybe maybe normal here. For example, hi or oh, hard reset.info. Uh, clicking Ctrl Z. Okay. Maybe maybe not in this application. So I will use, for example, um, Notepad. For example, yeah. So Ctrl Z. Maybe I don't change uh, key 3, Ctrl Z. Key two. Oh my god, I'm not setting it. Oh, customize. Key three, key four. Okay, so try again. Control Z. Okay, and Control Shift Z. Okay, it works. It works uh, in this way. So move back and move forward. Great. So. And of course, we can uh, reset all of our settings to default. Just click default, default, default. In this way, we can uh, we can reset our settings. Uh, we can uh, select applications. For example, we can create the setup for desired application. So, for example, I want to use. Um, I want to use it for, okay, uh, to add Gord, for, uh, to add Gord to AMD application. In AMD, I will have this setting set up. For example, I can change the setup for, for this application. Yes. Okay, but for the other app, I will have, for example, for other application, I can have uh, so for, for one application I can have one setup, for a second application I can have the other setup. So you can set it up in the way you want. For example, for Adobe Photoshop you will have one key, uh, one shortcut and uh, working space, working area setup for uh, second application for, I don't know, for uh, Adobe Illustrator, you will have the other uh, keyboard and shortcuts set up and working area and pen precision. Uh, you can set it up for other applications, uh, for every application you have on your computer. And, and that's it. And that's it. I think I have showed you all features of this graphic tablet if this video was helpful for you so leave me a like uh, and leave the comment for this video and that's it thanks for watching like this video subscribe to the our channel and bye see you